So welcome back to another episode of Massage Chair Chat. I'm all R. Kelly'd out. We've had a lot to say. All of us have had a lot to say. Perfect time for a plug. If you're uncomfortable about talking about touch, a children's book is a perfect way of doing that. I am going to read aloud my book, Good Touch Day, and it's illustrated by Ross Webb, and I will start. Our class listens as the school counselor teaches a lesson about bad touch. She warns us, your body belongs to you, and no one should ever touch you on any part that makes you feel uncomfortable or embarrassed. I'll try and hold up the book and read at the same time. Mrs. Smith holds up pictures about bad touch. She plays a video about bad touch. She reads a book about bad touch. She passes out papers about bad touch. I squirm in my seat. I inhale. I exhale. I count to 10. I raise my hand. But before she could end her presentation and call on me to speak, I yell out, not all touch is bad, Mrs. Smith. My parents are massage therapists. The school counselor's eyes grow bigger and she turns to my teacher, Miss Tate. Then she faces me. The students all stare at me like I said a bad word or something. I think I'm in trouble until my teacher takes over. Frederick, would you like to explain what your parents do as massage therapists? I think to myself, I know exactly what my parents do, but I'm not ready to tell the whole class about it. So I just stand and repeat something I hear my parents say all the time. If everyone received the power of touch, the world would be a much better place. Miss Tate smiles and announces, child scholars, why don't we have a good touch day? She winks at me. Frederick, could you invite your parents to speak about their massage therapy career? I shake my head yes and promise to help my parents plan a good touch day. Today, the classroom looks different. A good touch day banner hangs on the wall. Cookies and lemonade sit on the teacher's desk. Bright balloons and handprints are everywhere. Our desks are pushed into corners. The bell rings. Miss Tate stands in the middle of the floor. She waves for the class to join hands in a big circle. Good morning, child scholars. Like any other day, you're expected to use your words and hands for good and not harm. You will work in groups. Each learning station has a different fun activity about touch. We are busy writing, drawing, and painting when Miss Tate shouts, Frederick, your parents are here. My daddy carries a huge black bag and mama pulls a pink flowered duffel bag on wheels. Both wear uniforms with the words his and her hands. Miss Tate introduces my parents and reminds the class to make good choices. I help my parents set up. We unfold a massage chair, turn off classroom lights, arrange flameless candles, and play spa music. By a show of hands, who has ever given or received a massage? Mama starts. Very good. Massage can be a gift of touch we share with those we love, know, and trust. It helps people with their stress and pain. Daddy jumps in. Since we wanted to practice massage as a career, we had to attend massage school, pass a big test, and get a license. Now raise your hand if you remember anything about your bad touch lesson from the other day. Well, excellent. It is not only wrong, but against the law for massage license uh, for massage for licensed massage therapists to use bad touch. They could serve jail time for doing so. Licensed massage therapists practice therapeutic touch. I shout therapeutic. Therapeutic is when something has healing powers. Good touch is our superpower, Mama preaches. I repeat after Mama and point to my classmates. Good touch is our superpower. That's right, 
Our hands are heroes with the power of healing touch, Daddy adds. I repeat after Daddy and point again to the class. Our hands are heroes with the power of healing touch. Daddy continues. When clients are on our table, we make them feel safe and comfortable. Only one body part at a time is uncovered and massaged. We even get our clients permission before touching their scalp, face, chest, stomach, buttocks, and feet. Ew, gross. You touch people's butt and feet? Taylor shouts. Everybody starts laughing, but Miss Tate cuts her eyes as soon as students get too loud and beg for the wrong kind of attention. That's what Miss Tate says whenever students disrespect the class community. The classroom is quiet again. Me and Mama hold up a large skeleton looking poster. Daddy traces it and goes, yes, we massage muscles and there are muscles in our feet and buttocks just like in these other par parts or areas of the body. We learn a few names of the muscles found in our neck, shoulders, arms, back, and legs. Then Mama shows the class Good Touch Day by giving Daddy a chair massage. She sings MC Hammer's You Can't Touch This Song at the same time, except she changes it to You Can Touch This. The students sing along and copy Mama's massage moves. After she finishes, everybody cheers and claps. Daddy turns back on the spa music and whispers. Many therapists relax their clients by helping them breathe correctly. Everyone close your eyes, quiet your mind, and relax your body. Begin breathing in slowly through your nose. Feel your stomach with air, but not your chest. Remember to keep your shoulders down. When you have a deep breath, hold it and count to three. Now slowly breathe out your mouth. <sighs> Mama flips on the lights. My parents give me a high five and fist bump. They thank the class for inviting them. Miss Tate rewards everyone for making Good Touch Day special. She then assigns lunch duties. While waiting in the lunch line, I think about how proud I am of my parents. They really do make the world a better place. I even feel a little sad about them leaving until I realize it's pizza day. And that's good touch. And there are pictures with a few muscles, a few, um, a few pictures of a few muscles in the back and I have a dedication mama you were my first good touch teacher thank you for parenting and protecting me with hugs and kisses even when I thought I had become too grown to exchange them and that's good touch day and my author's note in the back I hope you enjoyed it this can be a tool to talk about good touch but also to serve as a resource for teaching kids about bad touch or what's inappropriate. Uh, whether you're in school or in families, I think it's a discussion that we will continue to have. Again, it is available on Amazon. I have a few copies in my possession if you would like one. If you would like um, me to visit your school to talk about Good Touch Day or to read and share the book, um, please feel free to inbox or to uh, reach out to me um, at Books in Our Image. I do have a website, Books in Our Image. There is a website where you can inbox me if you would like me to come and talk to your school. I do not charge for school visits. We could do a pre-order of books so that they'll have the books after I've shared them and then I can sign their copy. Um, that would be great, but there's no charge for the actual visit. If you are interested in a good touch day for your child, there is a service that I have titled that's called Good Touch Day, where we can have a more intimate setting. You would get a copy of the book or your child gets a copy of the book. They get a full body massage. You have to be present. Um, and we can talk about some things. I am not a licensed counselor. 
I am a former teacher and a massage therapist. So those skill sets will be used to talk about good touch and um, what's inappropriate, inappropriate, and what's not appropriate. And it just sort of brings some calm to the discussion and in case parents or um, parents or guardians are uncomfortable with the idea of discussing touch or you simply just want to um, have someone else talk about it, not that you're afraid to. It's just good, it's a village. It's just good to have other members of the village reiterate something you've already said because it's coming from someone different. You know how that goes. Like our parents just get upset. They tell us something. We don't believe it until somebody else says it. So, or shares it. Just add something fresh. Do something a little different with the topic. Um, I think is a good idea. And allowing children to have a massage uh, creates a different sort of um, connection to touch. It places it in the category of something of healing and something of wellness. So that's a really powerful gift to give your child if you have not done so already. Uh, so I invite you to do that. So again, this has been Good Touch Day, written by Sandra A. Roberts and illustrated by Ross Webb. So thank you for joining me for another episode of Massage Chair Chat. You're still here? Head on over to Amazon and get your copy today. Thank you.